Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys a benchmark comparing CPU versus GPU for deep learning, okay? So let's get started. I have this um, file that I created. It's a very simple program in Python that computes a train this model, this little uh, CNN or convolutional network on the MNIST dataset. And here I have a function that calls uh, different parameters. So let's see. First of all, this is my uh, GPU, the GTX 1660 Super, as you guys can see. Uh, you guys can see here the video encoding happening right now. So let's get started. I'm going to open up the calculator. So I'm going to do some uh, calculations. Okay. I'm going to see exactly how fast this model is comparing both GPU and CPU. So let's Let's do this. I'm going to minimize this a little bit so we can see the calculator here. So first of all, I'm going to train a model with uh, almost a million parameters on the CPU. And we can see the CPU usage here. It's way, way all the way up. Okay. This is because the model that I'm training is a convolutional net network and it uses a lot of the hardware. Some other architectures don't use the hardware. Uh, that well, the CPU, actually the GPU here, we have this CUDA information here. When the GPU is being used to train the model, you can see the CUDA utilization here. One thing to know is that if you enable hardware uh, schedule, you will lose this graph here. So you guys need to pay attention to that. Okay, so we're training this model on the CPU. It's taking quite a while and the code you guys can see here we're gonna train first with 128 uh, units to this convolution networks here layers actually uh, we got two convolutions plus max pool and then we got the flat layer another one a linear or dense layer and the output the soft max okay so it's taking quite a while I'm going to have to talk a little bit while this is training. So the CPU usage is very high. As you can see here, it's reaching almost 3.9 gigahertz. Um, it's using a lot of the CPU. The GPU, as I said before, is being used to encode the video at a very high bit rate. Okay, so we trained the model on the CPU. Now we are training on the GPU and you guys can see here the model being trained on the gpu and it's already done so we can compare now the so we can see that on the cpu it took 117 seconds and on the gpu it took just 18 seconds okay so about 100 uh, seconds apart if we divide those two numbers um let me divide with two decimal points i'm going to try into 117.85 divided by 18.27 so about six times faster so we can see that just using the this uh, GPU we can get a uh, six times six times speed up uh but this is a small model okay just a model with a, a million parameters almost it's 953,098 parameters which is not that uh, big it's actually a small model and now we're training a model with three million parameters almost four million okay it's gonna take a while to to run this on the cpu but we if we have this train of the CPU, actually the GPU being faster than the CPU, we should actually uh, have a huge advantage um, by running our code on the GPU. And this is somewhat um, dependable on the model itself. As I said before, something, some parameters, some variables should influence the speed on which your model is doing the training. Okay, I'm taking my CPU, train this model. It's using all of its eight threads or four cores, which you guys can see here. Um, I'm going to let this run for a while. And the VRAM usage is almost full, as you guys can see here. I can actually go to details and dedicated. What? Okay, we have a bug here. 
It's saying that OBS is using 74 gigabytes of uh, GPU RAM, which I don't think that's actually... Um, okay. Oh, okay, I have RTX Wise on the background. I'm going to close that. Okay. Okay, we... <laughs> We got a huge bug here, guys. Uh, this is not this is not um, possible. I don't have an RTX a a one hundred to to be using this much RAM um, VRAM. Clearly a bug on the test manager. I'm gonna close and open up again. Okay, we still see that, but this is the real um, usage. I guess you see this Python program here is using eighty percent of the CPU. Uh, memory is using three gig, uh, three gigs, uh, using almost five gigs from the VRAM because TensorFlow allocates the memory before its usage. It allocates around four gigs, as you can see here. Almost every time I run this model, I I see that it, it allocates four gigabytes. If I have a bigger model, it will allocate more, like five point five. But the four is the minimum that it allocates. And you guys can see my GPU. Actually, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to install TensorFlow with CUDA support in the future. So if you guys want to see that, you guys should definitely subscribe to see that happening. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to wait for this one to finish. And it is taking quite a while to run this model on the CPU. I'm just gonna run uh, run this round. I have uh, others like we ran this first one. We are in the second one, which is twice as big. Actually, it's four times as big. Okay, it's gonna take. I'm gonna just uh, wait for this one, and I think that's enough. But as you guys can see, if we compare, but if you guys can see that even a the GTX 16 Super is like an entry level. On GPU nowadays, but even that is way faster than any uh, CPU on the market. So we're gonna see exactly how that the difference will scale up with a model that's bigger. I think we're gonna see the the model training at any point. Okay, I'm using all of, all of its cores. As you guys can see here, it's all been used. Let's see, are we there? No, this 100 gigabyte. Okay, this is interesting. It's using a lot of uh, video memory. 100 gigabytes of video memory. This is gonna be the RTX uh, 10,000 series. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, we're done on the CPU. Now we are running on the GPU. And let's see how it's been used. It's using about 80% of the GPU. It's done. <laughs> okay, now we have uh, the results now. I'm gonna pause this. We got 399.98. Okay, that was very close to uh, 400 seconds divided by 19.60 seconds. So we got a difference about 20. And this difference can scale up if you train bigger models, but with this four uh, million parameters model, we got the difference of 20 times, okay? So I guess you can see that training on the GPU is 20 times faster than training on my CPU, okay? I'm gonna finish this now, and this was the benchmark. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's pretty fun to see how this scales when talking about deep learning, okay? So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below, and see you guys in the next one.